mindset every day has to be good for your health. No Limit Van Life is about living van life elevated, able to function like any traditionally housed member of society, feeling more fulfilled than most people who pay rent. Welcome to Zuma Beach and No Limit Van Life. No Limit is about living van life elevated. In this video, I'm gonna talk about how to release the stuck spare tire when you're trying to crank it and it's just clunk, 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 won't come down. It's time to prepare for winter. New tires, shocks, because I wanna take care of my new tires, snow chains. Before you put on new tires, because you won't have to mask the tires to paint the rims. Install the Coney shocks, high performance shocks for vans. The uniform, hitting bumps, they, they loosen up to give you a smoother ride. Smoother roads, they'll be tighter so that you have better handling. I'm getting new tires, America's Tire Company. I was gonna get 200 bucks just for a tire that's gonna sit here and age. Well, at least one of them is still good. They're the same rims, but the spare tire rim looks terrible. I'm just gonna spray them all. I don't have to worry about masking the tire. Coney shocks from Van Upgrades. While I was at Pet Boys right now picking up the spray paint, they had the best chains. Z. When you want chains, you can't find the size. 120 bucks, a cross pattern instead of straight across. You don't have that kunk, kunk, kunk. Doesn't mess up your tires like the other cables can. Talking about. 21 millimeter. This is an impact gun. Clean the wheels. Oh yeah. A company sent free degreaser. Jessica, super clean brand. If we send you some stuff, will you use it in a video? So awesome if I leak any oil. Actually, there's some oil right here. Your car has an oil leak. You definitely need to grab some of this. Biodegradable detergent, foaming, degreaser, all wheel cleaner. Exactly what I needed. Super clean sent me all wheel cleaner. Why did they send it to me? To make sure that when you take that off, the rear end doesn't drop down. This is, yeah, I'm gonna have to hit it with some penetrating lube. That's what she said. There we go, should let that soak. Dad just handed me this monster battery. This will fit. What are you trying to do? Oh wait, that's the wrong way. Yeah, I was going the way it It worked. How tight are these supposed to be? I think they're pretty tight. Yeah. Extend the breaker bar. Cause it's so long. I don't know what I'm trying to do. Let's see if I do. Really? Oh yeah. Oil all over it. All right, that is fully extended now. Loctite Extend Rust Neutralizer. They are plastic. Paint doesn't always like to stick to plastic. Don't need these. Oh, hey. Hold up, I made a mistake. Clamp damper and a vise, drill a hole, allow the gas to escape. I didn't have to do any of this. Gas already had escaped, the oil leaked out. Make sure it drips out completely. Dispose of the oil at an oil collection tank. Dispose of empty damper as scrap metal. I probably should have put this in the recycling bin when I was done. My dad takes the scrap metal and he puts it out at the curb. People come by and pick up scrap metal Sundays, sometimes Saturdays. Graffiti artist told me about mixing the can like this. They don't want to alert security. My mom just gave me a dirty look. She said, that was scary. I thought you were going to spray my car. Shake, shake, shake it. Do they look better? Can I get the wheels on? One hole that's big. The bottom first because when you let go, the bottom wants to come out. Large hole, slide that over the lug. Lug bolts. These are lug bolts. Most cars have lug nuts. A few turns by hand before you break out any other power tools. Tighten and a star cross. Don't try to get too tight with this tool. Finish with the higher iron. Sensing shocks installed. I really want the front struts now. That's a lot more work to install. Wheels are painted. High performance wheel paint just in time for dinner is this thing called a tire iron okay so i take the tire iron a lug wrench car on the ground a little bit of weight what you're doing wrong cross oh yeah cross notice how quick my dad is to tell me that i'm doing something wrong no no chance to correct myself and then you're done that's, that's what i use to get the rust 
off the bolts. Time for the test drive. These are way better than the ones that this thing comes with. Is there anything I forgot? I don't want to drive away and then realize like, oh no, there's a jack stand. I almost didn't buy this van because of the vibration that it had. When I get my new tires tomorrow, this thing should be nice and smooth. Definitely feels like it's riding better. I gotta go take this thing down a dirt road. Rear shocks make a huge difference when you're doing turns. I feel like the car is quieter now. Truck, van, whatever. Jay Leno is sponsored by Coney. That's probably the main reason why I got them. Yeah. Coney shocks, there's only one shock available. Fox shocks, they want your weight, they're adjustable. I don't wanna deal, I'm not gonna be driving down that many dirt roads and I need to get out and adjust my shock. For off-road, you need those. You can loosen them way up. When you hit the washboard roads, it's smooth. Yeah, I don't mean you need them for off-road, but I mean, if you have an off-road truck and you're always off-road, you need them. Somebody call washboard bumps corduroys. The Van Kooks, they just did a video on suspension where they put in the Sumo Springs. Bought this, it already had them on there. Probably part of why it feels so nice is because these Sumo tools from underneath the seat locate everything for them. Didn't even know where it was. It's cool that they're doing it for me. But my spare tire has a whole tire is stuck. Troubleshooting, removing spare tire, try to figure out what's going on. I cannot get the spare tire off. There's like this gear and cable that lowers it and it seems like the gear is jumping. I got it down. It's kept hitting it forward. I was reading that there's like a hook right there that gets stuck on towards the back of the car. I actually got behind it and I started tugging on it. Somebody just said hashtag van life in there. Floor going this way. All the other grains going this way. Doesn't look right. I'm not gonna redo it. Don't do this to save money. In the big scheme of things, that was dumb because it's something I thought about at the time. Propex heater, thermostat, polycarbonate windows back here. I also have four cameras behind that mirror pointed outside. Block view cameras, they run 24 hours a day. They have a GPS tracking system in them thief saw the camera and disabled it. There's still another GPS tracker that they might not notice. This much invested in something, you wanna protect it. I think these Blackview cameras are the way to go. And once I get this van built, I'm gonna get out there, make videos with people that I run into, try to not be such an introvert. You guys are awesome. I love this new TV mount. What the hell? Just off camera. I don't know what she's 